Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming essential exam as I have received many requests from you guys that you are having exam within very few days. So that's why I am preparing for you some important videos which will be very much helpful for your upcoming drives. So in this video I am going to share the recent on campus coding questions which will be both helpful for on campus and off campus because the same question pattern will be followed because Marshall metal is conducting the exam okay so now let me share the questions with answers just before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any component that you want and let me know which content do you want more I'll make more content on those okay now the question is i hope this is not properly visible but still readable let me just read for you once hey you ready for the future tech no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door you were given two integers arrays a and b of length n and m respectively each element of B is less than the length of A. For element in B, you have to sort the last B I elements uh, elements from the right in the array dash 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 non descending order. Your task is to find and return the final array A. These are the input specification and this is the output specification. Return the final array A after doing this for, uh, task. So let me just go through the sample input output so that it will be easier for you as you can see this is the sample input and this is the sample output let me just discuss how it's coming okay so this is the length of first array n this is the length of the second array m and this is the second first array two four five six one and this is the second array what is the task that is let's say this is the array b and this is the array a okay this is the first element this is the second element so first element is one you have to just sort the number of elements this number of elements at the end okay so this is one so that's why we'll sort in ascending order the last element only so we'll have we don't have to change anything and the next element is three so that's why we'll sort in ascending order the last three elements as this is 3 so that's why we will sort in ascending order the last three elements of this array a that's why it will become 2 4 1 5 6 i hope you understood let me just take the second example for your convenience let's say 5 3 1 4 2 if this is the array and this is the second array okay now what will be the output so as the second array b having the first value 2 so that's why we have to sort the last two element 2 comma 4 okay and the last next element is 3 so we'll have to change the last three value 1 to 4 in ascending order as this is in ascending order already so 1 to 4 will remain as it is now the next value will be the outcome after these operations that will be 5 3 1 2 4 i hope you understood so let's just share the answer for your convenience for your better understanding just before that i want you to have the base prime materials available for accenture in which you will get all the latest questions with answers for the cognitive assessment there will be gaming based around questions you can play it live in your phone in your laptop so please open it and also Technical assessment questions, pseudo code, cloud networking questions, MS Office skills, back end, front end, SQL questions, interview experience, communication assessment help, all the rounds help will be available here. So please go through it. It will be very much helpful. More than 1000 students, 2000 students uh, gone through this and they passed it well. So please have that and get the opportunity at Accenture. I hope you will do so. The link will be provided in the description box or in the comment sections. So at first, let me just go through the Java solutions, guys. Many students asked me like how many uh how how many uh time i mean test cases will be there you can see guys there are total four basic test cases there are two necessary test cases there are two corner test cases there are two complexity test cases so you have to pass all of those okay 
now many students ask me can i write the code in javascript can i write the code in c++ guys honest answer is as i have received information from the candidates they told only java python and c sharp is allowed so accordingly please try to understand try to prepare okay now what will be our approach to the solution that is so at first we have to start from the main function int e in uh, i mean the first array and second array are hard coded you don't have to write anything in the main function so just don't worry about that okay so int a and sorry array a and array b are initialized and then the result array is also initialized and these functions are implemented uh, this function is implemented and this function will return the uh, return the result okay result array so let me just go through this solve array solve function so that it will help for you okay so public static int array solve okay it will return an integer so that's why this is the return type and this is the static method which will be accessible from the main function and this are these are the two elements arguments uh, both are array array a and array b and let me just go through the lines here int n is equal to a dot length so this is basically just storing the length of that first array a dot length is returning the length of the first array a and we have to just go through all the elements of the array b how let me just tell you so these are the two values sorry these are the two values in array b and we are just using enhanced for loop to go through all these elements array okay elements in the array so at first this b holds value 1 and then in start is equal to n minus b so n is equal to the first array length that is let's say 5 okay so 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 okay arrays dot sort so for these arrays this is the class which you have to import from java.util arrays okay and in arrays there is a inbuilt method of sorting you can use that so sort a comma start comma n so what we are doing storing at first the array a okay first array and then we are setting the start point and the end point so start point is equal to 5 minus 1 that is 4 n minus b n minus b okay and the n is the length so this is the length i start point 4 and this is the end point 5 so now as the first element was 1 so we don't we just have to change the last element so 4 to 5 we just have to sort so let's say the element is 5 4 1 2 and 3 so they, we just have to change this element okay so we don't have to do anything we don't have to do anything in the next uh, in the next iteration the value of b will be 3 and in that case n minus b will be 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 okay and it will be the same array starting point will be 2 and the end point will be 5 in that case 1 2 3 will be sorted as it is sorted so it will not be sorted but if it is not in sorted order so then it will be sorted in ascending order okay i hope you understood and in the next iteration it will find that there is no element as such present it will return the a that means the corrected a corrected uh, array okay so i hope you understood let me just run this for you once um you can see 24156 is the result 24156 okay so i hope you want to guys if you have any confusion then let me in the comment section i'll try to assist you if you have any other questions as well post that i'll start uh, like answering in the comment sections okay and let me just give you the next uh, solutions in python that is the same way we have done in the main we have just written we have hard coded the input a and b two arrays and we have just printed whatever the solve function is returning okay solve functions is having two arguments a and b and it's storing the length of the first array n is equal to length of a for b in b so it's again holding the first value of b uh, list or array okay one three this way and we are using slicing method okay 
we're using slicing method here in python to get that like the starting point and the point so a n minus b what does it mean that is a of n minus b is 5 minus 1 at first so that is 4 a of 4 will uh, to the last element a of 4 to the last element is equal to sorted a n minus b so a sorted of a of 4 to last element last element so that is 5 okay there is nothing means it is last element okay up to last element so a is to uh, sorry a of 4 is to 5 so there is only one element so it will not be sorted only one element one so that's why it will, it will not be sorted okay so it will hold the same thing in the next iteration the b this capital small b holds the value 3 in the next iteration the value will store from 2 to 5 and it will change these three values 5 6 1 and it will store here 2 4 the new value will be 2 4 1 5 6 will be stored in this place and it will return a nothing else so the same thing happened so just let me run it once for you as you can see 24156 is the output so i hope you understood sometimes they don't allow you to write the inbuilt method like sorted we have used here in that case you have to implement the full logic for sorting these elements nothing just nothing complicated complicated you can use any of the sorting methods uh, which you know okay so i hope this much of discussion is enough for today's session guys i have shared the real questions if you want such real questions then please go to the top uf here you will get all the latest and real questions for your upcoming drive so thank you for today's session guys please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends